Hello and good morning everyone. We had a windy, blustery night last night. Kind of snowing a little bit. I did not get super great rest because honestly, the wind kept me up. Today is the day that we find out where Brandon's parents are going to be called on a mission. Hazy, oh look how pretty. We did a couple of really cute little ponytails and then we did a little fun bow that matches her cute pants. Yeah, but I want, can you give me a drink that's like milk? Oh, you want milk? Yeah. Should we have a little drink of milk before we go to school? Yeah. We have to leave in like 10 minutes, so I think we have time for that. Yeah. Are you gonna have an awesome day today? Yes. Are you so excited? Yes. Tell everyone say to have a great day. Have a great day. <laughs> okay, have a great day. You're such a big girl, you got your coat and your backpack out. Thank you so much. I just barely dropped Hazel off at school. This weather today is killing us. She normally starts school at nine. I leave at 8.45, pick up my niece. We get to school in plenty of time. Today, did the same thing as normal, except for I dropped her off at 9.40 at school. The main highway to get to her school was really slow. Took some side roads, finally got her there safely. They said all the teachers were late. I'm hoping this is our last snowstorm for spring. And I didn't even show you guys the really bad roads because obviously that's not safe to video while it's really bad snowy storm. But hopefully by the time I pick up the girls, the roads will be good enough that we'll be able to go have our fun lunch date and go out and play but comment down below are you over winter because I'm over winter and I'm ready for it to be over so we're back hanging out this afternoon kids are doing homework getting the afternoon started but you guys the roads are so much better okay, hold on hold on I'm sorry don't act like you don't have something on your face what is that you look very you look like an, a lens crafters model you look like a picture from a glasses advertisement what's the deal here you have glasses you're trying on glasses some people uh, were asking some of you, you have commented didn't Mindy just do this a year ago yes yes, yes I did but you never ended up getting them and now I didn't them. because I was like I'm not gonna wear them and even still putting them on I'm like I probably won't wear these but I'm gonna try just try so just these try are just little fakies they just send you the reason I like them is because they send you frames and then you try them on and see which ones you like best ask your friends that's what it tells you Okay, put ask on your top two and have everybody vote okay, real this quick is we won't one. do a big thing on it okay this is I one like version one here we go I feel like it's really dark in here that's because you need glasses <laughs> <laughs> this is two you sure you didn't put on the same or one do twice? they look the same I no I really don't think I did twice. do one and then a quick soft to two look stare right at the camera okay same one. exact face one and Two. Okay, now I see the difference. Go back to the other one real, real quick. Sorry. Now I don't know which one Dang is which. All. That one was one that you're holding, I think, because it was the darker one and then you went lighter. Comment below, vote below. One or two, one or two on the glasses, one or two, one or two. In case you got confused on which one was one and two, one of them's lighter, one of them's darker, so you could just say lighter or darker. The frames they themselves are, are pretty close to the same. They are pretty similar. This is how to tell if the frame fits. Pupils are near the center. Lenses don't extend past the sides of your face. Eyebrows are above the glasses. Eyebrows are above. Pupils are somewhat center. When you smile, your cheeks don't push the frames up. That's nope. pretty good. Okay, yeah, now eyebrows check. Check. Pupils kind of towards the top on these ones. It seems like face. Mm, can't really do much with it, but smile. It's, okay. <laughs> All right, lighter or darker, lighter or darker, vote below. A lot going on with the rest of today, you guys. We just had the excavator operator come to our front door and let me know that he will be ready in a matter of moments for me to take the controls of that thing and play around with it, do some digging. So check him out. He is just finishing things up here in the backyard, getting the last of it, and then I'm gonna be taking the controls of that and having some fun, so stick around, do not miss that. And if that wasn't reason enough to stick around, we are gonna be going to my parents' house tonight for some fun dinner and to find out where they're gonna spend the next two years of their life. I can tell you it's not gonna be here, it's not be with us and it's not even going to be in Utah. Maybe not even the United States. So don't miss that. Stick around coming up at the end of the vlog. For now, we're going to get kids doing homework, chores, and I'm going to just get limbered up to go do some excavating. I just went and got cleaned up a little bit. We're in something a little dressier to tonight. I have not gotten dressed up guys because I'm about to go do some work. About to go do some digging. <sighs> Gotta wear my excavator clothes. He just wants to feel like a real man. Honey, life. is this gonna be weird for you? This is gonna be very weird for me. I need to get my coat on because it is bitter cold. Silly. Dad's getting a chance to go in here. Cool though. Lower in this guy so I can get a GoPro on there so I can try and get a cool shot of the actual digging claw shovel machine. That's the technical term. I'm about to go set it up. Oh right dear. Now. I think I'm funny. The no, suction cup's not sticking. It's supposed to stick to like anything, but it's not currently sticking. So we're gonna try and clean it up a little bit. See if I can do it that way. In the meantime, I am shivering, freezing. freezing. It is so cold. Huh? <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> yes, it is. This will definitely be awesome. Yeah, right, it looks so settings, shiny. Turn on the connection. Yeah, it's trying to look on his phone to see what the GoPro's gonna see. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool, right? That shows the arm yeah, and stuff. Okay. See if it will stick. Let's see if it works now. Push this if I'm doing this right. You lock. Oh, oh boy. 
Oh yeah, yeah. that's on there, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, it's on there, baby, let's go. Yeah, so even if it falls off, that's fine, it'll work. Okay, I just got the GoPro set up, and he says, do you want me to give you some instruction, or do you just want to go for it? I'm like, no, give me some instruction. I don't even know how to turn it on. Okay, I'm ready, what, what do I need to know? Into this. <laughs> Okay. Just don't put all the dirt back in where he already took it out. You can scoop into this and maybe swing it around behind you and dump it. Yeah. Just okay. don't okay. tip over the very, Yeah, very minimal stuff here. I don't want to knock anybody out. I don't want to hit you. Gonna give you guys a first person perspective on what goes down here. Sweetie, I'll have you hit go on that GoPro. I got this one. Okay. Let's do this. Hey. You want me to show you how to do it in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy cow. So this, this is, is your nice. safety. So when that goes down, then the controls are active. Okay, okay. And the okay. throttle just runs by itself. So basically, this is up. This is the stick out. Okay. Oh my gosh. And then curl it that way. It won't hit the cab, but it will hit the track. Okay. That's the bucket, and then this I decide is the spin. Okay. Break down the elemental components of energy on a single constant K rating. Extrapolate for each of the pick the central prime expedition. Echo on a signal. You wind up with a formula for So in out. It takes a little bit to get used to, but in out, up, down, curl, bucket, swing. I am freaking out. I've here. I'm freaking out. Do you want to keep this open or shut? Yeah, there's much to say. Look at his hat. He's wearing a Bingham hat. Yeah. Love it. You want to do open so I can talk to you? Or yeah, you good? You want me to like stand here with I you? Know, for a second. He's going to hang out with B because, oh my heck. Okay, yes, for one second. Okay, hang on. I can hit record on this one, I think. Let's see. Move on and then stick out. Woo! Dad is fully operating it. <laughs> this little boy up in the window right here, our neighbor, he's been watching this guy dig the whole time. Grandma's doing this in real life. This is like every little boy's dream coming true right now. Down. There you go. Right, and down. Start sticking in too. You kind of have to do it at the <laughs> and I don't know if I can do that move. He was like doing two hands at once there. Now let's lift this up. Here we go. If I want to just dump it right back on itself, how would I like release this thing? Oh, over to the side? Oh my goodness. Maybe stick in so you don't dump it on your lawn. The key is kind of doing everything together. That's how you cut the nice flat. I cannot believe the skill that you have to do this, dude. The brain to tell different hands to do different functions yeah. simultaneously to do smooth moves is unbelievable. A lot, a lot of practice. You guys, Brandon is digging. He is in there. He's actually doing it. He's up there. He's like, it's so strange for your brain to tell this arm to do, turn this way, this side to do this thing. Wait, look at that. I'm doing it. So he's like, this is, oh boy. He's going solo, guys. Okay, wait, no. Even if you go as far, you won't hit any houses. We're good. Hopefully our neighbors have great homeowner's insurance. You've updated our homeowner's insurance, right? I hope these guys did. <laughs> Here we go. Daddy's in that big tractor? It's not a tractor, it's a backhoe. It's a backhoe, sorry. Track -hoe. It's a track hoe? Track hoe. It's a track hoe. He says, it's official, it's a track hoe. <laughs> good try, good try! I missed! <laughs> Giving it a nice little tap. He's just pounding it. Fist bump it. Oh, bump. You do. Daddy, what are you doing, huh? Yeah, but what about Daddy? I don't know what he's what trying to do. So hard. <laughs> I'm trying to get one scoop. <laughs> Big 
victory. I'm taking it as a win. That is so awesome. That is so much harder than you might think, you guys. Just the brain to the different functions, you've really got to know what you're doing. In my like 10 minutes in here, gained so much respect for the guys who operate these things. That was a freaking blast. Thank you so much for that opportunity. That was rad. And nothing got broken. Honey, you did it! You did it! I did, I did it! You officially have a man card! Well, yeah, temporary yeah, permit. Yeah, temporary yeah, permit. Yeah, yeah. What do you think, Hazy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. The snow is starting to come down again. It is insane. He had so much fun. That was so awesome that he let him try it. I'm like half in, half out. It's freezing. What a fun experience for him to get to do. I was teasing him. I was like, you officially have your man card. He's like, well, maybe a temporary permit. <laughs> Sweetie, okay, mad respect for the people who operate that. I was so frustrated. All I was trying to do was get one little scoop of dirt and I kept missing. I watched it. He's just gonna like spin it around. Look at that. As he was showing me how to do it, he's like, yeah, so let me just take the controls real quick and I'll show you. And I watched his hands and in his mind, it's simple, but his hands were doing like this slightly to this, this and this like all at once. And I'm like, my mind can't do that. I'm just like forward, backwards, up, down. That's all I got. <laughs> you Crazy rad well. experience. I did okay. I did a couple scoops. I got a couple scoops of dirt. You got, yeah, you did, you got, you did one. You did great. <laughs> <laughs> that was too much dang fun. Seriously, like a childhood dream. I talked about it with a little boy up there watching you and I says, this is every little boy's dream coming true right now. It literally just happened right as Rag, I shut the light on us. But <laughs> <laughs> we just closed the blinds. Yeah. Anyways, no, but dreams literally just came true. All the childhood dreams That's just true. became reality. Now it's time to go. We've cleaned up just a little bit. We're getting a little bit nicer. Ramon and Papa's very special event tonight. We're gonna go, we're gonna find out where they're gonna spend the next two years of their life. They're opening their mission call today, tonight. Full Bingham family's getting together. We're having some pizza. I feel like this is like a gender reveal. What is this? A little bit, right? It's a little bit like that. They have no idea, you guys. For those of you who aren't familiar how this works, they put in their papers, they submit their papers, say that they would like to serve a mission, they'd like to serve a mission for the church, it's the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and then their papers go off to headquarters, and then they just sit and wait until they get an email that says your call is not ready to open. It used to be a paper call that you pull out of an envelope and you'd read, now it's just an email. So they haven't clicked on the link yet to see where they're going. They're waiting for all of us to get there. So we're headed over there right now. We're gonna make a full evening of it. You guys are gonna come with us to at least find out where they're going. We just got here and I gotta show you this. This is so cool. These are the flags of all of the countries that we've been in our family for our missions. I went to Brazil, my brother Sean went to Russia, my brother Justin went to Italy, my brother Jared went to the Philippines, and my dad many years ago went to Finland, then of course USA over there. So I have to find out tonight where Mon and Papa Bingham are headed for their mission for the next two years. Come with us and find out. Here we go. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> oh boy, here we go, here we go. Here we go. It's showtime. Oh, Dad. So, dear Sister Bingham. Dear Elder Bingham, you are called to serve as a missionary, missionary at the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints. Signed. Thank you. Ukraine. Kiev, Ukraine. We'll be in the Ukraine, Kiev. Kiev, Ukraine. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Does anyone have that on the board? I don't think anyone. I have a. I've been learning yeah. something. Yeah. Holy cow. There it is. So is that? So is that Spanish or what is that? I don't think anybody saw that coming. Easy. Did you find Ukraine? Yeah. Did you find Ukraine right there? Mama. She knows how to get there. We're going to say bye to Maddie now. We love you so much. I didn't hug you.
Okay, there it is. Oh my gosh. Can you guys believe Ukraine? Did anybody guess that? I can tell you nobody uh, in our family did. I don't think so. And from all the comments I approved, there was not one Ukraine vote that I saw. If you said Ukraine, let us know in the comments. I honestly do not think anybody had Kiev. That was insane. That's gonna be incredible. Now, one part that I don't know if we got in the vlog is they don't report until October. They were thinking May. So they have a lot longer They've to be here. They've got some time. So Which I think it might have something to do with the visas. For? They can start learning some language a little bit. They've got to speak Ukrainian now and Russian. So incredible, you guys. So stoked that you guys could be a part of that with us. A couple of very quick updates though before we close the vlog. Swag is done and ready. We just need to it's get it up on the up. site. Gotta go pick it up, get it on the site. We cannot wait, you guys. It's gonna be amazing. And the other really big thing is you guys, oh, yes. the last pieces came for Ryler's room, so we are going to be doing that. That's happening this Friday, week. I think. I, I'm, I'm gonna oh. say we do it Friday, so the video posts Saturday. Friday, that's wow. what I would like. Let's, okay, let's wow. just do it. Let's, he, just, let's go for it. Let's commit. Well, it's out there. So a we lot love of you. fun to finish out this week. Do not miss it. It's gonna be insane. It's gonna be all these things that we've been waiting and waiting. It's been building and it's finally Finally gonna happen and I didn't break a house today driving an excavator. He so. did not. You guys throw a congrats down in the comments for Mana and Papa. Oh my gosh. They're going Ukraine. to Ukraine. The Ukraine is weak. I come from Ukraine. You not say Ukraine weak. Ukraine. We love you guys so much. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you guys all tomorrow. Good night everybody. Bye bye. <laughs>